Hi, welcome to KTB5 video tutorial. It's a remake of one or two old ones. It's an exercise for sweeps. And you can download the start curves from my GrabGet account. There are three curves and I will hide at first this one. So let's maybe insert a new geometrical set. That's chamber one. Okay. I want to make an extrude with this one and fill it. So let's go for an extrude with this curve here. Direction would be in this case the XY plane and I could make it mirrored and let's see it should be at least yeah, 40 millimeters to both sides. Let's add a fillet up there. So go for an edge fillet and let's try 5 millimeter. If it doesn't work, I will change that later on. Now Maybe hide this one for the moment and hide that curve here. And I want to use a sweep with a draft direction or draft angle. So go to sweep. That would be a line sweep. Not two limits, but with draft direction. The guide curve, there's only one guide curve, would be this one. The draft direction would be normal to the YZ plane. And the angle should be 5 degrees. Like this. And you've got four solutions and I need this one. You could switch here as well. And yeah, 20 millimeter might do. So we will see and confirm. Bring back our edge fillet. Now let's go for a trim. I want to trim this surface with that one. Looks good. And confirm and now I could add a variable fillet so let's go to variable fillet and I might go for five ten millimeters and one millimeter so let's select this edge. It should go all around, yes. And maybe hide or just delete that point. So go here, select it and remove it and make some new ones. And I want it to be here 10 millimeters. So go for create midpoint over here. Create another point, another midpoint over there, and maybe create an end point here, an end point there, and another end point over here, and another one over there. And this should be one millimeter, one millimeter, ten millimeter, one millimeter, one millimeter, and ten millimeter. Let's see if it works. We will see. Yes. And 
that's my first gem chamber nice let's hide this one and go for a second one I show bring in another geometric set and call this one chamber 2 and let's show our sketches and I will reuse this edge fillet here so let's copy this one and just paste it here and make it visible and hide it now the second chamber should look a little bit different and I want to use a different sweep so let's bring back our edge fillet here okay and maybe hide that curve here and I want to project this curve onto that surface so let's see where do we have our project command it's right there projection I want to project this curve not normal but with a direction along the Y Z direction which means it's normal to that plane and that would be not the support this would be the support and the direction would be in this one and let's go for a new solution I could go for tangency or I could let's go for tangency smoothing and see if it will work okay great now let's trim that surface or split it I want to split this surface with that curve right here and confirm and now I want a surface which starts normal to this plane has a certain sort of angle and then goes with tangency into that surface that would be the task okay let's go for the sweep and that would be a conical sweep here with two guide curves so the first guide curve should be this one and the direction or the surface the tangency should be this one and of course it should have an angle to this plane and that would be 85 degrees so I got a surface which starts with 90 degrees it would be normal to that plane and with 85 degrees it's just with 5 degrees draft angle so the angle would be 85 degrees the last guide curve would be this curve up there and the tangency constraint should be that surface angle to this tangency surface should be zero yes and the conical parameter could be zero column seven and the spine would be this curve so that means all the profiles which are drawn between this one with the constraint and that one and the constraint would be normal to that spine so, so select the spine and let's see if this works let's go for a preview looks good then confirm and i'm done Hope it was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook FM page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more subscriptions and likes over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.